Welcome to the Market Insights session specially prepared for companies. I'm Lisa and my friend David. Hi David. Hi Lisa. Our content, which we have prepared for investors who value innovative analytics while managing their portfolio, includes powerful decision support hardware. We start our content that we have prepared by using current academic techniques. When we examine the chart of the stock carefully, we can see that there has been upward trend in the last weeks. Decreases in trading volume accompany this trend. It is worth emphasizing this point. Sometimes, serious upward or downward movements in the trading volume may indicate a feature that supports the trend of the stock. In addition, the investor should benefit from other technical analysis findings while taking a position. You're so right, David. Even if the trading volume alone does not produce a solid signal, it can be useful when used in conjunction with accurate technical analysis methods. Let's examine our other parameter. The moving average converged divergence curve integrated into the chart remained within the threshold ranges. This indicates that the share price is not overly low yet. Finally, let's examine the Commodity Channel Index Oscillator embedded in the graph at the bottom. This indicator gives information about the deviation levels from the price trend. When the chart is carefully examined, it is seen that the price action is outside the oscillator band. In this case, it can be said that there is excessive buying activity in the share price. When the Bollinger Band accompanying the share price is analyzed, it is seen that the price is outside the band. This indicates that the share price is moving away from its dynamic average. This is a signal for selling. None of the technical analysis indicators expressed in the chart alone can create a buy or sell decision. It is beneficial for the investor to prefer alternative technical analysis methods when making a buy or sell decision. For me, the Bollinger Band is a very simple and understandable instrument. Perhaps that is why it is widely used. Now let's examine the performance of the company's competitors. When the graph is carefully examined, the price performances of the rival companies as of the previous day's closing can be seen. Why are the rival performances important, David? What do you think about this topic? I think it's an important indicator for investors. Because if the company competing with its competitors in the same industry conditions is in a better position than its competitors, this may be due to the internal dynamics of the company. Even this probability is quite high. This can be understood as a positive signal. Of course, the reverse is also true, right? Definitely, Lisa. Let's continue. In the graph on the screen, the red indicator shows the company's percentage performance, and the yellow indicator shows the competitor's percentage price performance. Of course, the red indicator passing the yellow indicator to the right is an important development in terms of company performance. Quants Pro followers, some descriptive information about the stock is as on the screen as of the specified date. Let's take a look at the descriptive parameters of stock which you are considering trading in order to take a good position in the markets and evaluate the opportunities. By the way, most of the parameters are dynamics that make sense in the long run. Most of the descriptive parameters were obtained with a deterministic approach. Let's examine the performance of the stock in terms of some parameters. Considering the content carefully, the price-earnings ratio is an important indicator for investors. This ratio is used to calculate the relative value of the stock. This ratio also helps determine whether the stock is overvalued or undervalued. In this sense, analysts use the price-earnings ratio when they want to determine whether the share price accurately represents projected earnings per share. Of course, this ratio is not an indicator to be used alone. It can be used more efficiently, especially for intercompany or periodical comparisons. Instead of sticking to one parameter, it would be a better behavior to make a buy and sell decision by including different technical analysis parameters in the analysis. The price ranges in the daily and 52-week range are given in the table. Investor's perception of short or long term changes his sensitivity to price movements. In this sense, it is important how long the investor will keep the stock in his portfolio as well as at what price he will buy the share. 
Sometimes the oscillations in the markets are so severe that relevant prices can be tested sooner than expected. While the daily price range is an important indicator of the buy or sell level of the stock price, the weekly price range provides a more robust analysis capability. The market capitalization value, which expresses the weight of the company's performance in the market, is as in the table. Market cap provides information about the market size of the stock. It is obtained by multiplying the total number of shares of the company by the current market price of the shares. Of course, although this classification is important for a stock career, it does not provide a sharp assessment for buy or sell decisions. Large cap, $10 billion or more mid cap, $2 billion to $10 billion small cap, $300 million to $2 billion. Shares outstanding refer to a company's stock currently held by all its shareholders, including share blocks held by institutional investors and restricted shares owned by the company's officers and insiders. Outstanding shares are shown on a company's balance sheet under the heading capital stock, since the data in the balance sheet and other financial statements of the companies provide vital information about the genetics of the company, they are the most organic findings that affect the investment decisions. Public float value is as in the table. Public float may refer to all the shares outstanding that can be publicly traded. The company's beta value is as in the table. A beta value greater than 1 indicates that the stock of the company oscillates more than the market average. This indicates high volatility. On the contrary, if it is less than 1, it indicates that it has a volatility below the market average. From this point of view, beta value greater than 1 creates a suitable investment ground for risk-loving investors. However, for the cautious investor, the low beta value may be more preferable. In particular, it is important for the investor who will hedge their positions against high volatility to consider the periodic comparison of the beta value. Beta value is more useful when evaluated together with other factors that characterize the market. Beta value can give important clues to investors in terms of measuring price risk. The revenue per employee value represents the income per employee. The revenue per employee ratio is most useful when looking at historical changes in a company's own ratio, or when comparing it against that of other companies in the same industry as part of a fundamental analysis. The EPS value, which is an important index, is as in the table. Earnings per share represents earnings per share. The higher a company's EPS, the more profitable it is considered to be. EPS value by itself is meaningless. Periodic mobility in comparison with other companies can be examined. Yield is a return measure for an investment over a set period of time, expressed as a percentage. Yield value alone does not make sense for the investment decision. Dividend value is the dividend payment to shareholders in stock rather than money. Dividend refers to a reward, cash or otherwise, that a company gives to its shareholders. Dividends can be issued in a variety of ways, whether in cash, stock or any other form. Short interest indicates how many shares of a company are currently sold short and not yet covered. Short interest is used as a sentiment indicator. An increase in short interest often signals that investors have become more bearish, while a decrease in short interest signals they have become more bullish. A large increase or decrease in a stock's short interest from the previous month could be particularly indicative of sentiment. For example, when the short interest for a stock rises from 5% to 10%, it may be a warning sign that sentiment is growing negative on a company. Large changes in the short interest also flash warning signs, as it shows investors may be turning more bearish or bullish on a stock. For investors considering long-term trading, increases in short interest rates may be a sign of concern about the stock. Short interest is most useful when looking at historical changes in a company's own ratio, or when comparing it against that of other companies in the same industry as part of a fundamental analysis. Float shorted is the percentage of a company's stock that has been shorted by institutional traders, compared to the number of shares of a company's stock that are available to the public. Average trading volume and previous closing price are as in the table. Average volume is the average number of shares traded within a day in a given stock. It is especially useful to evaluate it together with other indicators. Because the serious increases and decreases in the average trading volume make sense of other indicator signals. When average volume increases or decreases dramatically, 
It signals that there has been a substantial shift in how people value or view the asset. Usually, higher average daily trading volume means that the security is more competitive, has narrower spreads and is typically less volatile. Stocks tend to be less volatile when they have higher average daily trading volumes, because much larger trades would have to be made to affect the price. This does not mean a stock with high volume won't have large daily price moves. On any single day, or over multiple days, any stock could have a very large price move on higher than average volume. Average daily trading volume is a useful tool for analyzing the price action of any liquid asset. If the price of an asset is range abound and a breakout occurs, increasing volume tends to confirm that breakout. A lack of volume indicates the breakout may fail. Volume also helps confirm price moves either higher or lower. During strong price pushes up or down, volume should also rise. If it isn't, there may not be enough interest to keep pushing the price. If there isn't enough interest then the price may pull back. Yes. Quants Pro Followers. Now, if we turn to technical analysis, we will be happy to present to you the Quants Pro Advanced Fibonacci Retracement Method, a brand new scale created by Quants Pro for you. Let's first examine the classical Fibonacci retracement. You can see the possible support and resistance points on the chart. The usual Fibonacci scale is a classic and widely used indicator. However, it should be noted that one of the important reasons why the vast majority of investors fail may be the use of the usual Fibonacci scale. In this case, investors may lose because they have taken positions on the wrong Fibonacci levels. Quants Pro Advanced Fibonacci Retracement Scale has been specially designed by our experts working for you. This scale is based on Quants Pro Advanced Fibonacci Base Level. Quants Pro reserves the calculation of base level. You see the QP Advanced Fibonacci Retracement Levels on the chart. These levels provide more accurate support and resistance values. In this way, stop loss and take profit levels can be redesigned more accurately. In order to minimize the risk, it is beneficial to consider the Quants Pro Advanced Fibonacci Retracement Scale together with other technical analysis methods. Lisa. Yes, David. With your permission, I would like to thank our team for bringing this wonderful tool to the financial literature. It's truly an excellent scale that will cause traders to reconsider classic support and resistance points. After analytics with key characteristics for the investment vehicle, it would be helpful to provide information about returns. The general course of returns is extremely important for the investor in the final scenario. As a result, we all dream of an investment instrument with a high cumulative return at the end of the period. Cumulative returns do not give absolute information about the buy or sell signal or the timing of these, but it can give an idea about the contribution of the investment instruments to the investment portfolio and its periodic performance. When the chart is carefully examined, it can be seen that the cumulative returns have been increasing recently. This situation can be considered as a positive signal about the investment vehicle. Now we present to you a brand new experience of Quants Pro, News Impact Analytics. The News Effect, which is theoretically based on the effect of negative or positive errors on the variance of the investment instrument, in practice refers to the effect of good or bad news on volatility. For this purpose, Quants Pro meticulously examined the comments of the stock and created the News Effect graph for you. You can see the News Effect for the stock in the chart. When the graph is carefully examined, it is seen that negative news affects volatility more. In this case, the investor should know that negative events regarding the stock will be more destructive. Investors should make use of other technical analysis instruments when making their decisions. Dear Quants Pro followers, we present to you by examining some technical analysis parameters in depth in order to gain more qualified equipment for decision making. For this purpose, our first indicator that we will present to you is EPS performance. Numerical changes in the EPS trend are an important indicator for investors. Earnings per share is one of the most important metrics employed when determining a firm's profitability on an absolute basis. 
It is also a major component of calculating the price to earnings PE ratio, where the E in PE refers to EPS. By dividing a company's share price by its earnings per share, an investor can see the value of a stock in terms of how much the market is willing to pay for each dollar of earnings. Comparing EPS in absolute terms may not have much meaning to investors because ordinary shareholders do not have direct access to the earnings. Instead, investors will compare EPS with the share price of the stock to determine the value of earnings and how investors feel about future growth. Periodic forecasts about the EPS trend can be viewed from the chart. It should also be emphasized that estimate synapse rates may become more consistent as we move from their 90-day values to their one-week values. In this sense, periodic differences can give clues about the quality of volatility in the price of the stock. The numerical distance between forecasts for periods of high volatility increases. The reverse is also true. What counts as a good EPS will depend on factors such as the recent performance of the company, the performance of its competitors, and the expectations of the analysts who follow the stock. Sometimes, a company might report growing EPS, but the stock might decline in price if analysts were expecting an even higher number. Likewise, a shrinking EPS figure might nonetheless lead to a price increase if analysts were expecting an even worse result. It is important to always judge EPS in relation to the company's share price, such as by looking at the company's P.E. or earnings yield. Thank you, David. You can examine the graph on the screen to learn about the variability of the periodic forecasts made by our team. In the graph where the EPS trend is examined, we can say that the thin candles belong to more consistent forecasts. In the graph here, the significance of the estimations for the EPS trend in terms of the relevant time periods are given in parentheses. Periodic significance can be viewed from the table on the screen. I think the comparison expressed in the first line is more important for the investor who follows the near term. Of course, David. Periods comparison of forecasts for EPS trend between periods is directly related to investors' time management. Shorter-term investors wonder about the differences in forecasts between consecutive periods in the near term. Comments on the significant differences between the periods can be examined in the table. If we give a score to the stock as a result of the analytics done so far, our review of Quants Pro Advanced Fibonacci Analytics, News Impact Analytics, and analytics comparing the company to competitors would be prudent. In this case, the company's Quants Pro score is on the screen. We offer you up-to-date analytics about the investment vehicle you are wondering about. We hope that you will write your criticisms and suggestions in the comments section of the video. I'm Lisa and my friend David came to life with your support. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe. See you in the next content. Quants Pro. Market Insights generates useful analytics. Would you like to contribute to our ability to produce richer content? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it.